CSGO skins and cases have been on such a good run for so long at this point, it doesn't ever seem like they're going to go through dips again. But eventually, investors have to sell for a profit, right? So today, let's take a look at what we've seen in the past, and don't worry, it's not only when operations come around. So as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Helping me get to 50k subs would be greatly appreciated, and it's just the click of a button. Also, just before we get into it, check out the sponsor Skins Monkey and how to get a free $5 trading your CSGO skins. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Okay, so first off, let me just preface this by saying, even though the market is doing incredibly well right now, there comes to a point where investors are going to have to sell for profit. But the thing is, there's still a consistent amount of these cases being unboxed, despite cases going up so much in price, numbers haven't really changed at all. Unboxers don't seem to care. There's roughly 20 million cases unboxed a month, despite fluctuating player count and obviously prices that have gone up really significantly in pretty much every single case in the game. So the question is, what makes investors sell their items? And the first time of the year seems to be around the massive sales that come around on Steam. More specifically, this year we saw a pullback around the time of the Steam summer sale. Note that this year the summer sale started on June 23rd and lasted until July 7th. And also, note that the Antwerp sale started on June 2nd, so that was ongoing during the same time as well. But when this was happening, we saw a significant dip across the entirety of the case market and skins. But just to keep things simple, I'll only look at the case market for now as it kind of dictates the prices across the entire market. But we saw it not only in the typical breakout case, glove case, and normal expensive cases that I look at when it comes to stuff like this, but you could easily turn those into flips as well. But for example, cheaper cases, I'll look at the CS20 case for example, since I own that one, drop from about 20 cents to about 15 cents. That's a 25% drop. Really significant, and it also, once again, just makes for an easy flip in price. If you're sitting on a ton of Steam balance and not sure what to do with it, since whenever a steam sale comes around or of course when a major comes around and people are going to be selling off some of their investments to get money for whatever that may be these two things were tied together earlier this year and during that dip that i showed earlier so that could play a part in why we saw the trend that we did and a 25 percent drop in something like the cs20 case and then anywhere from like a 10 to 20 ish percent drop in most of the other cases but a dip like this even 10 20 anything percent like that across the cheaper cases especially can make you a lot of money because everything seems to bounce back so quickly especially and it's just easy flipping and an easy way to pick up cases if you want to hold them long term as well so a lot of different options you could play with it's completely up to you now as for when the next sales are gonna be there's the steam bash bash in mid-september which is apparently a steam sale based all around fighting games or actually just games with melee or combat weapons which i didn't even know existed until today when i looked it up but i wouldn't consider it one of the main sales so if i had to guess i don't think we're gonna see a 25 percent crash in the case market there since it's kind of like catered to really specific games but the next quote-unquote big sale probably isn't until towards halloween with the steam halloween sale and then a bit later we are presumably going to see the big winner sale as well so there's definitely a couple options but they're all still a few months out no real rush there and that steam halloween sale could definitely coincide with the actual major as well so just like earlier this year we could see a sale at the same time as the major and then the sticker capsules are going to go 75 percent off so all that could drag the market down a bit and definitely cause cases to be a bit cheaper so as for the closest thing that's going to drag the market down, that's probably going to be it. So keep your eye out for that. But really, the big crash that is actually reliable to give us the biggest dip in the market should be when an operation comes. It should be the best time to get into investing if you've been waiting for something new and reliable as it gives us pretty much every single option to invest in in the game. Presumably a massive dip across skins, knives, and cases so you can easily buy there, easily hold or flip, or just buy yourself something nice on it all kind of just depends on what your goals are 
And then you've got new agent skins, presumably. They should do good long term as well as they have in the past. They've looked really good and really underrated in my opinion. And even though skins from the operation will most likely be oversupplied and not really hyped at all anymore since there's just way too many of them to be profitable, you could also try to buy into some older skins used to trade up like the SSG Acid Fade for example, something that always spikes in price when a new operation comes around as it's very low float. People use it to trade up very consistently and there's plenty of other skins like it in older collections. Definitely check that out if that sounds interesting. But yeah, once again, you've just got a million different options when an operation comes around. Either way, it definitely seems like the best time to buy anytime soon if you're waiting to buy the dip. And if nothing really happens during the Halloween sale or when the next major comes around and there's no big dip there, once again, it just seems like the operation, who knows when it'll be, hopefully this year definitely seems to be the best time to buy in if we see the same dip as we have in the past but once again it's been so long since we've seen a massive dip this run has been continuing for so long you gotta imagine that it's gonna start somewhere but other than all of that honestly the cs market just seems too strong to say things are gonna just randomly drop down in price if not correlated to some event that leads to mass selling we've got more players coming to the game now and it seems like with every event we see that pulls things back down in price for a few weeks like operations majors stuff like that whatever it may be that things just continue on their crazy uptrend right after players finish capitalizing off the big dips and probably new players coming to the game as well off the events that happen or just players taking a break that come back either way it doesn't really matter why it's happening it just matters that it happens and it should happen again based on past trends but as always i think that is gonna wrap it up for this real quick one so be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course check out skins monkey for that free five dollar bonus as well link at the top of the description but for now I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.